Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Now today I'm using my Elite class setup for the Kaber and I'll show you why it's so good. So the attachments being used on this Kaber right now are Long Barrel, Quick Draw and Grip. As for the perks, I'm using Ghost, Dexterity, Scavenger and Dead Silence. Now my opening rush, I push this side and there's always one or two enemies that are gonna push this area but look at them, they just got vaporized. You can see straight away how the dexterity is helping me out with this caber and with the attachments being used it works in harmony with those perks. It allows me to keep the flow going, to keep the momentum going and to hit the enemy straight off their spawns. You know get there in time and absolutely destroy them not even make them think about what's happening. Now if I was playing a 4v4 competitive match I'll be using the elo side, I'll be using grip, quick draw and stop. But 4v4 competitive is very different, the meta is very different compared to 6v6 public matches. Here you can see how optimal this class setup is for the Kiba in public matches. Let's take a look at the gameplay itself as well now. You see this opening here, they love to spawn back there when the area is empty. So I enter this building and pre aim it, look at that. And you can see it doesn't need an elo side. You don't need to be pinpoint accurate in public matches. If you're a good player, you can compensate for that. You can outmaneuver your enemies. Because in general, if you're playing competitive and you're playing against really top tier competition pro players, then of course their accuracy is going to be pinpoint. So you can't afford to miss shots. And by pinpoint, I mean actually elite pinpoint accuracy, snapping onto the target, not to the left, not to the right, just straight onto the target and hitting every single one of your shots, even when the enemy is in the air doing aerobatics. So in public matches, the meta is variable. It is different compared to professional competitive play. You will find yourself in situations where you will never encounter that in a competitive setting. However, you need to adjust yourself to that fact. You need to adapt to that fact. And of course, this setup right here, especially with dexterity, with the grip, quick draw, long barrel, it all helps, it all works together in a public match settings. And I see a lot of my subscribers using stock on their K-Bar, but not really using it as well. So of course, don't just follow what you see in competitive gameplay. Like I said, it's a different setting and this class setup right here, what I show you on this channel, is the most elite you can get in a public match setting. And I can't emphasize this enough. If I have to use something in the game, I want to ensure that it is at its best the very best the elite standards and that's why i trust my setup so much fun for me in call of duty isn't using extremely weird setups that's not fun to me fun is absolutely dismantling and destroying vaporizing the enemy team that's the enjoyment i get from playing call of duty now look at this juicy flank you see all those red dots on the screen i'm just flanking the wrong way this look the flank is open but i'm being prepared as well and look at this i take three of them out you can see how dexterity helped me out there and I just destroyed them. Initially, I didn't see the synaptic guy on the floor, so that's why I reloaded. Otherwise, I would have just shot him as well before I reloaded. Now, look at the minimap. You see that major spawn in that zone? Because it's open, right? None of my teammates were there. as a major spawning area. So, of course, be aware of that and be prepared. Just take them off from an angle like that. And when they push, vaporize them, destroy them, show them no mercy. Now I'm one off my nuke, I just go in, I take him out, I get my nuke, just like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you understand where I'm coming from. On this channel, we don't strive for average standards, we strive for the very best. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you did, please share the videos guys, if you want to see me grow, I will appreciate that so much. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, bye.